Hello everyone! Today I'm unboxing Itzy's new album, Guess Who? I have all three versions, Day, Night, and Day and Night, and I collect 55, so I did get two copies of each version. I do have pre-order items as well, so what I will probably do is show all my pre-order postcard and photo card pulls first at the very beginning. And then I will do the album flip throughs and then I'll do all the remaining photo card polls at the very end. One quick thing before I start. I did in my last unboxing try and get a little bit more in depth with my reviews as to like why I did or didn't like, you know, certain song or choreography choices. And I don't know, I just found that a lot more fun and interesting than sort of just flipping through and saying like, oh, I like the song or oh, I don't like the song or whatever. Um, I don't know. I, I personally found it really interesting to like try and really think in depth about why I like the things I like and why I don't like the things I don't like. So yeah, I thought that was fun and I wanted to talk more about that kind of stuff in my album flip through. So I just wanted to warn you in case you like don't like hearing that kind of thing or you, you know, just find that level of over analysis super boring. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is this is your warning, so you can definitely, you know, skip it if you're not interested. Anyway, like I said, first I'll be showing the pre-order polls. So, the way they work is that there are two possible pre-order postcard sets you can get. There's this pink one, and then there is a yellow one. I assume the hidden card, there's like one, oh wait, oh my god. Okay, I was definitely not supposed to get six, but these two are stuck together, so I got an extra pre-order set. Does that mean I get an extra hidden card? Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Okay, so first I'll show um, what all the postcards look like, and then we'll see if I can show all my hidden card pulls. Okay, so here are the pink postcards. Backs just have this little clock and their name on it. I really, whoa, what? Wow, she looks so pretty. I really like this concept, personally. Wow, okay. Okay. Gosh, yeah, she is so pretty. Backs of these are similar, they're just yellow. First hidden card I got looks like Yeji! Wow, so they're double-sided? They've never done double-sided cards like this before, have they? I actually don't think I own like any, like none of the groups that I collect do double-sided cards, so that's really fun. Okay, one Yeji. I should make more room actually. Next one, uh-oh, <laughs> another Yeji. Alright, next hidden card, no, it's Yeji again! Oh my god, am I gonna get all Yeji? But I even got an extra, so I was like really hoping like, oh man, maybe I'll just pull OT5 and then I won't have to trade. Oh no, you guys. I think, <laughs> I think these were not shuffled. I think this is the last of my yellow ones. Not that the hidden card differs between the postcards, but. <sighs> oh, Yeji. Yeji, you probably are my favorite member. You didn't need to do this. I already liked you. Dog. I have no hope. 100%. This is tragic luck. I can't believe this. <sighs> Get ready for another Yeji. <gasps> what? Oh my god. Yes. Okay, Jadeon, hello. I love you. Wow. That is some pretty bad luck. I normally do a lot better than that. That's rough. Okay, well, thank you, Chaedyoung, for coming through at the very end. I really appreciate that. And in any case, I'll be trading away all these Yejis on my Instagram in case anyone wants to trade with me. Are you seeing this? Like, the color is so messed up. Where? I want a white thing. Would this help? Oh my gosh, look at that. That's so much better. Wow, the color. I've never had something do that before. The color of this literally, like, made my camera freak out. Okay. Anyway, this is the day version. It's way bigger than I expected. The side, if you can even see that at all, has like a little clock on it. Actually, really quick before I do the flip through, I wanted to talk about the B-sides first because I actually don't really have a lot to say about them. 
I only listened to them like twice each, I think. Um, my initial impression is that I probably like Tennis the most. I think it's just sort of a, it's just a cute, simple song. Nothing mind blowing or anything, but I, I thought it was cute. I liked it. Um, the other thing I want to say is for some reason, I can't remember which song it was. I think it was Kidding Me. There was one song that had a really good pre-chorus and I was like getting really hyped, like, oh, this is going to be the best song on the album. And the chorus just kind of like wasn't, wasn't like anything. I think it was Kidding Me. Anyway, that was probably honestly one of my favorite parts of the whole album was like the pre-chorus to that song. I'm going to leave this white thing here so my camera doesn't freak out again. Okay, so let's go through the day version and maybe it won't look so bad without... I wanted to talk about the um, title track when I unboxed this version. Um, like I kind of briefly mentioned before, I didn't like the title track. Um, I know a lot of people... Veggie is so pretty. Sorry. I know that's not that controversial of an opinion. I, I think a lot of people were kind of iffy about it, but... You know, I listened to it actually like over and over because I really wanted to say something about like why I didn't because I kind of feel like, you know, when I first listened to the song, I could say like, oh, it's, it feels repetitive, you know, or it feels empty, but that doesn't really, that's pretty subjective, right? It doesn't really explain like why I feel that way. I love that lipstick color. So I actually like really listened to it over and over trying to pin down, you know, what it is about it that makes it feel sort of sort so empty and like monotonous to me because you know I like the overall vibe it's not the concept that I have a problem with whatsoever or like this the feel or the sound or whatever and what I found when I listened to it over and over was that I like this lipstick color too I don't know why their makeup is like really doing it for me this time um what I found was that quite literally the instrumental track during like the chorus well and during like the other repeated sections of the song are like exactly the same every time. That might sound kind of stupid, but like a lot of songs, you know, when the chorus comes back a second time or a third time, they'll add something to maybe make certain parts of the melody stand out in a different way, or they'll they'll remove something that was there already to like emphasize something else, or maybe the tempo of the chorus a second time will be slower, or it'll be faster, or there'll be a key change. Typically, oh no, I didn't take out my poles. <laughs> One second. I really like this concept. Anyway, yeah, typically, a lot, not typically, I should say, because I don't really know that, but like a lot of songs will like feature stuff like that to sort of make you feel like maybe this song is like building to a moment or is, um, you know, like taking you on a, on a journey or like changing and evolving throughout the song. I feel like you go places, you know? And it hit me that that's what bothers me about this song or, about, or why it doesn't really do it for me personally is that I don't, I don't feel that it goes anywhere. I don't feel like it builds to a, it doesn't build to a big moment. The closest thing that you could say that would come to that is the way it sort of builds up in, in the pre-chorus, but it kind of falls flat because the chorus itself is sort of, sort of a little too quiet or it's like missing some oomph or something. It's not really large enough, at least on the first hit, which could be fine if it did you know, build and grow later on in the song, but that just kind of doesn't happen. It sort of almost feels like you get to the end of the chorus and then she is so pretty in this outfit and the styling and this makeup and this hair color. This is my favorite version, I can already tell. I'm like already 100% sure this is my favorite version. Anyway, um, yeah, when you get to the end of the chorus, the song just kind of feels like it goes straight back to a place it's already been and then sort of retreads that same ground exactly again. I know that probably sounds kind of stupid to some people, like especially if you're more used to analyzing music like that, like you're like, oh, the song sounds repetitive because the instrumental is repetitive. Brilliant take. <laughs> but I don't know, I don't normally like overanalyze or think about songs that I don't enjoy at that much of a level. I just listen to it once and then I don't listen to it again. And personally, I found it really interesting to think about because when you think about the things that you don't like in songs. It makes you, this makeup is really interesting. I really like that. When you think about the things you don't like in songs, it also makes you think about why the songs that you do like work, you know? I don't know, I, I just find it interesting to think about. This outfit is so good. But anyway, it's of course okay if you do like it. I like a lot of songs that like, are like widely hated in the K-pop community, let me tell you. <laughs> 
I like this shot. I think this is really cool. I think I just like the lighting in this color scheme. I think it's so awesome. Or I don't know, I just like the vibe. Then we've got the thanks to Oops, I'm skipping everything. Yep. I could have sworn there was a random CD plate, but am I crazy or is this, are they random? I guess it does look like an eyeball over there, right? There's like a member in the background. Yeah, if anyone can, can tell me who this is, that would be cool. I'm almost like second guessing whether there really are random CD plates. Let me look in my other version of this album. No, it is different. Look, okay, here's the CD plate I got in the second day version. I don't know if you can even see that. There's an eyeball right there. <laughs> I was kind of expecting the CD plates to be sort of more obviously like who the member was, but, but oh well. Like I said, I'm like an OD5 collector, so it doesn't really matter who I pull. Okay, now I'll show the, bring this white thing in so my camera doesn't freak out show the inclusions. It does come with one of two random lyric posters, and this one I got the pink one, which just looks like this. Pretty standard lyric poster, nothing that interesting. Let me look at my other day version and see if I got the other one. Oh yeah, oh no. Now I got the pink one in that one too. There's also one of two random sticker packs. I got this pink one in this one, and the other day version I also got the pink. And then there is a random member poster. Sorry if you can keep hearing my window rattling. I have like ancient bare wood frame windows because it's a really old building and it's really windy today. But my first poster, I got Leah. I kind of hope I can pull like all the member posters. I'll put them in my binder if I do, but if I don't, I don't know if I can bother trading. Let's look at the poster in the other one. Ah, oh, Leah again, okay. Well, let's see what we get in my other versions. All right, next we have the night version. Looks like this, AKA the tragic Leah Bangs version. So, actually, let me look at the um, CD plate pulls before I do anything else. That might be interesting. I say that and honestly, it might not be that interesting because I can't tell who any of these are. Yeah, I'll probably stop showing the CD plates because they're honestly so similar. <laughs> Now I kind of want to talk about the choreo, which if you can believe it, considering how I rambled earlier, I actually have a, even more to say about the choreo. Oh, so pretty. So for context, um, part of the reason I love Etsy so much is that I think their choreo is just like really next level compared to a, a lot of other girl groups. And personally, Not Shy is my favorite Etsy choreography. Like, I mean, I'm not going to get into why because it's, uh, it's not what this video is about, but it's like far and away my favorite for like a lot of reasons. And the reason I bring that up is because her profile is crazy. Like, how dare you? Because when I watched Mafia in the Morning's choreography, in a way it kind of reminded me of Not Shy. And by that I mean, a lot of the things that I liked about the Mafia in the Morning choreo were the, the same things that I liked about Not Shy. One of the things I absolutely love about their choreos, especially lately, is that their use of formations is just amazing. I just feel like, they really, really show that you don't need 10 members to fill up a stage. You don't need, you know, 10 members to, I'm just saying a random number here. You don't need 10 members to like be creative with your formations and the shapes you make. You can be super creative even with only five people. And I think in Mafia in the Morning, that's honestly one of the biggest strengths of it. I was like just continuously like, wow, wow. Like, I don't know, like blown away and really interested by what they were doing. But when I first, this shot, powerful. Also the belly button piercing, hell yeah, girl. When I first watched the choreo from Rocky in the Morning, my first thought was, oh wow, I love this, but I do like it less than Not Shy, but I don't know why, right? Because initially my first impression was, oh, it's got a lot of the things that I like about Not Shy. So I watched it, I'm not even kidding. I watched Not Shy and Rocky in the Morning back to back like, like 20 or 30 times. I mean, I was like really thinking hard here, like thinking too hard about it, frankly. So I was like, maybe it's just as good of a choreography as Not Shy. I just like it less because it has the same weaknesses that the song has. Does that make sense? Like obviously one of the things I like about Not Shy as a song is that it's really bouncy and high energy. I forgot to remove my poles again. Literally, what was I even talking about? Oh yeah, what I like about Not Shy is that I feel like this is her era, don't you think? She's killing me. One of the things I like about Not Shy is that it's such a bouncy, like high energy song. And correspondingly, I really enjoy that about the choreography as well. 
So then I thought, well, you know, to me, the things I don't like about Mafia in the Morning is that the, it feels sort of low energy and repetitive. And correspondingly, there are times where I feel the choreography is also a little bit low energy and repetitive. So maybe it's, I keep getting cut off by buses going by and losing my train of thought entirely. <laughs> well, anyway, what I'm trying to say is I was trying to tease out in my head whether the choreography was as good as Not Shy, but not to my personal taste, or whether it was actually not as good as Not Shy. Does that make sense? And it got me thinking about like what the purpose of a K-pop choreography is. And like, I know this is really in the weeds and really overanalyzing it, just bear with me. <laughs> I think it's kind of interesting. In my mind, K-pop choreography is a lot different than like the kind of choreography that I'm used to typically, because the point of K-pop choreography is to enhance the song and build like a cohesive performance with that song. Do you know what I mean? Like by that I mean, you know, normally when you make like a hip hop dance choreography, you don't do it again every single year for the re for like the rest of your performing life. Whereas with K-pop choreographies, you are going to be performing this song for years and years, and the choreography is supposed to meld with the song to make an engaging performance, but also improve the performance, right? It's supposed to be better with the dance than it is on its own than it would be if you were just singing, then you're just singing flat out on the stage, you know what I mean? And I swear I have a point here. These look kind of the same from the, it looks like the thanks two pages are the same in all the versions. Um, I swear I have a point here. I will explain it when I open the next version. <laughs> Let me just show what came with the, uh, this version first. I did finally get the yellow lyric page, but again, it's just a lyric page. It's, I think it's just the color that's different. My first poster here I got, Ryujin, yes! Man, this color scheme makes my camera go crazy. It does not pick up well. Let's look at the other one. For this version, I got Ryujin again. Get the feeling in my two day and night versions, I will probably get the same. Oh, I got the yellow stickers this time. Okay, that's nice. Well, I have all the stickers. Okay, now I will do the day and night version, which honestly looks very similar Oh, I guess the back looks sort of like the day version and the front kind of looks like the night version. I wonder if this is going to be one of those third versions that's literally just the first two put together. I kind of hate that. I mean, personally, I would prefer a totally separate concept for a third version. But what I was saying before, <laughs> I, I will get to my point now. I feel that K-pop choreography should not only suit the song and match it, it should also enhance the performance as a whole. So it it should, you know, of course, emphasize the strong points of the song and it should slow down and be subtle where the song is slower and subtle. But I also kind of think that if these are going to be performed together, ideally a great choreography, a tr like not just a good choreography, but a great one would actually improve the areas that the song is weak in. And the thing that I think I settled on as being just if I had to choose one thing I didn't like about the choreography, which again, overall, I do really like, um, it would be that in the areas where the song is repetitive, the choreo itself is also highly repetitive. And I don't just mean like the point choreography. I understand that the point of point choreography is literally to repeat itself. I mean, in general, I think the variety of the ways that choreography is executed is a little bit lower than it was in Not Shy. And I, if, I, if I had to choose one thing to improve about this choreography, I wish that, you know, the second and third times the chorus came up, it did something a little bit more, something a little bit different. Um, I think personally that would really bring a lot to the performance that wasn't already there, if that makes sense. Again, if we're judging it by like what makes a choreography great and amazing versus what makes a choreography really, really good. Um, I know talking a lot about the things I don't like probably makes it seem like I hate the choreography. <laughs> Why do I keep forgetting my polls? But actually I, like really, really love it <laughs> for the most part. Of course, you know, not every single move in every choreography is gonna really do it for me, but like on the whole, like I said, I find their use of formations, their level of energy, the level of detail to be, I don't know, a lot higher than a lot of other groups. And that's why I, ITZY stands out to me. And in addition, you know, I really commend them for taking on this sort of style of, hip, of choreography, like a more hip hop influenced style. You know, not a lot of girl groups really do that or can pull it off and I think they actually did a really really good job. I see what they mean now when they say that this choreography was more difficult than Not Shy because this is certainly a style that you know I can only assume they're not used to executing and if you're not used to dancing that way you know I, it 
can be really difficult to pull off. So yeah, I think, I think they did a great job. <laughs> you know, are you kidding? Oh my gosh. I love Yuna. And then the same lyric pages at the end. First poster for this version, I got Leah again. No. <laughs> oh, that means I have three of hers. I guess I probably won't. I don't know. I really don't want to trade posters. That seems like a lot of work. Let's see what my last poster is. All right, last one. Leah again, of course. Four Leahs. Okay, time for photo card pulls. I haven't really looked at them, like templates or anything, so I really have no idea what they look like. But I do collect OT5, so really anything is welcome as long as it is not a dupe. <laughs> First card, Yeji, so pretty. Oh, interesting, that's what the backs like on these ones. I did see somewhere that they have like different backs for all the different photo cards, which is interesting. You get, you get two per album. So my second for my first day album is Yuna. That's what these bags look like. See, I don't even really know what the bags look like. This is like all new to me. Okay, next photo card. This one's a colored back. Yuna again. Wow. Truly probably my least favorite color. <laughs> but it's a cute card. And last one, looks like another one of these. Yeji, oh my god, I got like Yeji Yuna on both of them. That's so awesome. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it looks like some of them have, um, these ones have a different thing in the middle. They're not exactly the same. Okay. All right, now I will do the night version. Looks like I got two red backs in this one. So, red back one. Chaedyang, so cute. She, like I said, she's probably my favorite. Like visually this era, I don't know. I think her styling really suits her. And... Leah! Okay, so they're all holding a sucker in this one. Cute. I didn't see the signatures, but the backs of these are both red. I worry I got a dupe album. Oh no, a dupe album, no. Oh, that's okay. It's bound to happen, really. First card here, yellow back, I got Leah. And the next one you can see, I got Rujin. You know, I'm not doing too bad as far as, as, far as dupes go. I was kind of worried, like I always am, with um, albums where you get like like there's not separate photo cards per version it's just like a one group of photo cards distributed among all the versions does that make sense i always get worried with those because i think like oh man i'm, I'm really gonna get dupes then but yeah so far it's so so far it's pretty good every single video i record i say to, i say in the video oh i haven't pulled that many dupes and the next card i pull is always a dupe i need to just learn to stop saying that the last card is <laughs> save me. When will I learn to not jinx myself? So all in all, we got one, two, three, four dupes. So what's that, like one third? Eh, not great statistics, but it'll do. Anyway, if you want to trade, hit me up on Instagram. <laughs> anyway, I hope you liked this video. I feel like it was kind of different as far as unboxing goes for me in terms of like the commentary. So yeah, I don't know, let me know what you think about, you know, the song and the choreography. I'm curious. I don't actually really, I'm not on Twitter, so I don't really know what other people say about it. So yeah, I'm, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.